I believe that I've identified a goal development company that is a huge takeover candidate. In this video, I'm going to share what that company is, why I think they're such a big takeover candidate, and who the most likely companies would be to buy them out. In order for a mid-tier gold producer or a major gold producer to buy out a smaller company, they typically want that company's permits to be fully in place and have that project fully permitted. Why? Because if they don't, then they have to start much of the process all over again. It's not that they have to resubmit paperwork. However, when a new bigger company comes in, the local community is like, whoa, what, what's going on here? No, we had a deal with this company. We trust those guys. Those guys have been working to build up our community for the last five years. They've been building schools. They've been teaching the kids. They've been building roads and bridges. No, we trust them. We don't trust you. So then like a lot of the process has to start over building relationships with that community if the takeover happens before the project is fully permitted. Bluestone Resources is a Lundeen company, part of the Lundeen family. A couple of years ago, they had a fully permitted mine. They had a fully permitted project. However, as they did more drilling, as they talked about it more, they're like, this is gonna make a lot more sense as an open pit mine than as an underground mine. So we can double our resources and we can triple our NPV if we change it to an open pit mine instead of an underground mine. However, the problem was Guatemala had only permitted an underground mine, not an open pit mine. So they had to redo their permit applications and resubmit their permit applications to get an amendment to that permit to allow the open pit mining. And when they did this, a lot of people were saying Guatemala will never approve an open pit mine. I mean, haven't we learned over all these years to never underestimate the Lundin family's ability to work in difficult locations and to work with governments to get difficult mines approved? Those who underestimated them were wrong. Once again, we just got notification that that amended permit was approved for an open pit mine. So what makes Bluestone Resources such a great takeover candidate? Well, I think they're the perfect takeover candidate for a mid-tier. I think the mine is a bit too small for someone like a Barrick to come in. They're going to have a 14-year mine life to start, but that will expand over time as they drill more, explore more, and expand those resources. And over that 14-year mine life, the company is going to average almost 250,000 ounces of gold production with that heavily weighted towards the front end. So you get a lot of production the first few years. So this would look really, really good to a company that's currently producing 500,000 ounces of gold a year, a million ounces of gold a year. This would make a meaningful difference to their production profile. And you know what? It's 250,000 ounces a year at a very low cost. According to the most recent feasibility study, we're looking at an all-in sustaining cost of just $650 an ounce, which is crazy low in today's environment. Now, we've had some inflation since then, so maybe that number will be a bit higher. But I mean, for a feasibility study, a recent feasibility study to show that, well, that is incredible. Another reason why they look like a takeover candidate is because they have a market cap of less than $50 million. And this Cerro Blanco mine in Guatemala is going to take more than $500 million to build. So when you see a mine that's going to take more than 10 times the market cap of the company to build, usually that needs to be built by a bigger company. But this is a Lundin company. And if any company can arrange financing, it's going to be one that's part of the Lundin group. But the market cap relative to how much it's going to take to build that mine is definitely a big reason why this is a potential takeover candidate. But in addition to that, one huge reason is this press release in July of 2023. Bluestone announces strategic review process. Bluestone today announced the company has commenced a process to explore and evaluate potential strategic alternatives to further advance the Cerro Blanco Gold Project and the Mita Geothermal Project. These alternatives could include, among other things, the sale of part 
or all of the assets of the company, a sale of the company, a merger or other business combination with another party, or a strategic transaction. Bluestone has successfully advanced the Cerro Blanco Gold project through several technical studies, unlocking additional value through an open pit development scenario, which effectively doubled the gold resource ounces and tripled the projected project returns. As outlined in the 2022 feasibility study, the Cerro Blanco Gold project is a robust, rapid payback, high-grade operation. However, as a single asset developer with no operating revenues, safeguarding capital, shareholder dilution, and value is a top priority. A larger company or entity with cash flow could be more appropriately suited to maintain and advance the Cerro Blanco Gold Project and Mito Geothermal Project over any future development timeline. The Cerro Blanco Gold Project is currently permitted as an underground mine. Now it's permitted as an open pit mine as of today. As part of the strategic review, alternatives could include, amongst other things, a sale or part of all of the assets of the company, a sale of the company, a merger or other business combination with another party or strategic transaction. The company has not set a timetable for this process, nor has it made any decisions related to any strategic alternatives at this time. There can be no assurance that the exploration of strategic alternatives will result in a transaction. The company does not intend to provide announcements or updates unless or until it determines that further disclosure is appropriate or necessary. During this time, the company will continue to pursue the approval of the permanent amendment for the Cerro Blanco Gold Project. So right there in that press release, they're essentially telling us, we intend to sell this company and we won't give any updates until the process is done. Well, today's news that the open pit project has been approved and is fully permitted now makes the sale of this project way more likely and very likely for it to happen more quickly as well. So now let's talk about the potential suitors for Bluestone Resources. I see the most likely company to buy Bluestone be Lundin Gold. Lundin Gold has said publicly that they're looking for an acquisition. By the way, this is one of the companies in the Lundin group of companies, just like Bluestone is, and they built a huge gold mine in Ecuador that nobody thought they were going to be able to build. And now that gold mine is gushing cash and Lundin Gold has been one of the most successful miners in the entire industry. And they're looking for a great place to put that cash and who knows Bluestone better and who knows that Cerro Blanco project better than the Lundins? Nobody, nobody knows it better than the Lundins. And if that isn't enough, the Lundins actually have a history of taking one of their companies that's actually mining right now and using that cash flow to buy another one of the companies in the Lundin group of companies. They did this recently with Lundin Mining and what was it? Jose Maria in Argentina. Lundin Mining was cash flowing. They have operating mines around the world and they bought another Lundin company, which is a big copper gold project in Argentina. And now we're in a similar scenario in which Lundin Gold is producing significant cash. They're already operating in Latin America, so it wouldn't be that big of a stretch to go to another Latin American company and build a mine there. And they have the cash that would be needed to build that mine without any dilution at all. So I think the most likely buyer of Bluestone Resources would be Lundin Gold, but also you have a company like Equinox Gold. Ross Beatty is the founder and chairman of Equinox Gold, and a few months back in an interview, he said that Equinox is looking to expand and they've been kind of held back from doing anything for two years as their massive greenstone mine in Canada gets built. I, I certainly know opportunities. You know, we're always looking for, you know, smart deals with Equinox Gold. I'm always thinking that it's been something that I've done all my life. I've been a ton. I've done a ton of merger and acquisition work in my career, a ton, you know, like dozens and dozens of deals. The thing about mining that people always have to remember is it is a declining industry every single minute. The actual mining industry depletes its reserves every second. It's a non-renewable industry. So companies must either discover 
or buy in order to maintain their production or even increase their production. So it's inherently got a lot of M&A work intrinsically in it. And the other reality is scale does matter these days. It matters more than it's ever mattered. That's one of the fundamental reasons I, I did a lot of M&A to build Equinox Gold quickly, because scale is important. You have more, more liquidity for investors, you have better multiples, you have better access to big capital pools, the ETFs, for example, large investors. So there's all sorts of reasons why it makes sense today. And, and that's what often also drives M&A work, is the one and one is three. If you can put two companies together, each of which has you know high overhead, for example, put them together instantly, you got a better multiple and you get rid of all those wasteful uh, overhead costs you can have one instead of two so it's really sensible if it's a true synergistic merger the problem is a lot of them aren't a lot of them are growth just for growth's sake which is stupid or uh or you know and, and quite frankly i made a bad decision in in one of our deals to buy a company when when equinox combined with leogold we got stuck with a with a mine that was much more difficult than i had ever anticipated in mexico the, the Los filos mine and that's been a real headache so we're, we're sorting it out it'll get sorted out but it, it was definitely not the easy you know one one is three deal that i hoped it would be uh and and so sometimes things happen they don't always work out but Getting bigger is smart by itself, and so I expect you're going to see some deals. Is that sort of the, still the plan? Like, let's it's, bring stone it's, up and go yeah, before for, we look at anything else. Well, um, or looking, we, we, I can that. say I can say that uh, we are so confident. Greenstone's over the hump now. Uh, I've been frozen out of doing anything for two years while that's all happening. We had to make sure, like that was so important to get right. And we now feel very confident that is now right. So we can start looking at other opportunities. There are great opportunities in the space. But of course, we have to be constrained by all kinds of things. But I mean, I just want, you know, my ambition with Equinox is pretty simple. It's to build a world-class like senior gold producer fast and and get those multiples and get that higher valuation and get uh and and, and build a build a really big company that has humongous uh, leverage to higher gold prices that's been the mission of the company pure and simple since day one so far so good uh we just have to we've been penalized for two years with all kinds of worry about greenstone whether we were going to blow our budgets and take longer as soon as the confidence in the market uh, is is there that we have actually met our, our targets and it's, it should be like this month or next month right now. I think we're going to have a, a better price and all of a sudden we're going to have opportunity to do, to do other things if there's the right Once value. Once the penny drops sort of the market the penny realizes drops. like yep. okay as you said yep. they're over the hump. So they're this they're month, there. next month, it, you know, soon. It, I don't yeah. know exactly when it's going to be, but but definitely, if there's a really good opportunity, we'll, okay. you know, we want to see in, it in the Americas. You're going to stay yeah, we're going to stay in the Americas. America. Yeah, I'm not well, a little bit Africa. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for example. He said, after that mine is built, we can look to do another transaction again. And this is an Americas focused gold producer: North America, South America, Central America, and Bluestone Resources has their project in Central America. So. That fits perfectly in with that. It would add an average of 250,000 ounces of gold to Equinox's already big growth profile, which they're definitely looking for. And you know what? Ross Beatty said, after the Greenstone mine is built. Well, guess what? The Greenstone mine just finished being built. So I think Equinox is another company that could be a potential suitor to take over Bluestone Resources. If you like videos like this, please subscribe to the channel and next click on this playlist. It's a series of videos I've done that are going to make you a better mining stock investor and I'll see you over there.